Professor Keith Caldicott and I run a laboratory in the Genome Damage and Stability Centre and in addition I'm Director of Research for Life Sciences. And the Genome Centre is a multidisciplinary research centre and its main remit is to understand how defects in DNA damage impact on genetic stability and how those changes in genetic stability impact on human health and to try and devise in the long term novel approaches for clinical intervention for diseases that involve genome instability. My name is Joanna and I'm doing a PhD at the University of Sussex. I'm looking into a protein involved in double strand break repair and the possibility of it being a therapeutic target that could happen by inhibiting that protein and therefore making certain cancer types more vulnerable to a specific drug that is being used at the moment. You can actually make a difference very quickly and there are very few careers I think where you have that level of freedom to allow your imagination run wild uh, and you have the ability to pursue your imagination in a, in a productive fashion. Well, postgraduate students are, are indispensable for any kind of research environment because they bring in fresh ideas, fresh approaches, the full of enthusiasm, the highly motivated. They're essentially one of the key cornerstones of any active research lab. There is a wealth of knowledge and experience in the centre and that is very important for someone who's just starting their PhD. We have a chance to talk with more people that work on the same area as you do and that can help you look at your work from a different angle. Students receive a package of training that makes them competent to work in the lab. They then receive close supervision by other members of the laboratory so it's a very nurturing environment and they have complete access to their supervisors. So for example, we have an open door policy. All students can come and go freely and discuss with us at any time of the day. Some students then towards the second, third year develop a high level of independence and ultimately in the third year could be driving their own research almost completely independently of their supervisor. I chose to apply for a PhD at the University of Sussex uh, because finding an entire centre dedicated in research in genome stability and repair is not common and therefore it would have been a privilege to be a part of this. <laughs>